Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Carolyn Ann and my channel is a lifestyle channel where you will follow us on our journey to becoming debt free as well as financially stable. In today's video, we will be going over last week's budget as well as this week's budget. If you're interested in this type of video, please stay tuned. But first, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers. Hey fam, welcome to the team. And to all my old subscribers, hey fam, welcome back. So let's get started and let's see how we did last week. So in our budget from June the 1st through the 7th, in the expense category, we budgeted $300 for our utilities, $164.81 for our chiropractor, $101.53 for Chase, $48 for our gym fee, $12.99 for Canva Pro, $12 for Google Fiber, and $4.50 for our bank fee. That came up to $643.83. In our actual category, we paid $236.80 on our utility bill, which was a difference of $63.20, $164.81 on our chiropractor, $115.34 to Chase, which was a difference of $13.81, $48 on our gym fee, $12.99 on Canva Pro, $12 on Google Fiber, and $4.50 on our bank fee. That came up to $594.44, which was a difference of $49.39. In our cash envelopes, we budgeted $110 for lunch, $85 for groceries, $80 for gas, $80 for eating out, $60 for personal, $20 for miscellaneous, and $20 for household. That came up to $455. And in our actual category, we spent $110 on lunch, $85 on groceries, $80 on gas, 35 on eating out, which was a difference of $45, 51 in personal, which was a difference of $9, nothing in miscellaneous, which left $20, and nothing in household, which left $20. That came up to $361, which was a difference of $94. In our sinking funds, we budgeted $350, and in our carryover, we put $200. That came up to $550. And in our actual category, that is exactly what we did. In our income versus our expenses, we estimated our income to be $1,767.13 minus the expenses of $643.83 minus the cash envelopes of $455 minus the sinking fund and savings of $350 and minus the carryover of $200. That left a balance of $118.30. In our actual category, our income was $1,767.13 minus the expenses of $594.44, which was a difference of $49.39 minus the cash envelopes of $361, which was a difference of $94 minus the sinking fund and savings of $350 and minus the carryover of $200. That left a balance of $261.69 which was a difference of $143.39. In our budget from week seven, in our budget from the 8th through the 14th, in the expense category, we budgeted $846 for a mortgage, $100 for nail net, $71.40 for Google Fiber, $68.99 for YouTube TV, and $16.15 for Audible. That came up to $1,102.54. In our cash envelopes, we budgeted $110 for lunch, $85 for groceries, $80 for gas, $80 for eating out, $60 for personal, $20 for miscellaneous, and $20 for household. That came up to $455. In our sinking funds, we budgeted $250. And in our savings, we budgeted $100. That came up to $350. In our income versus our expenses, we estimate our income to be $1,907.99 minus the expenses of $1,102.54 minus the cash envelopes of $455 minus the sinking funds of $250 and minus the savings funds of $100 that left $0.45. Cents. So fam, that is all for this week's budget. Please stay tuned for my cash stuffing envelopes. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It would help my channel and I would greatly appreciate it. And if you stuck around this long, please consider subscribing and joining our family. We would love to have you and it's free. But that is all for this video, fam. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button so that you'll be notified next time I upload a video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, fam.